It seems we all have that one neighbor who goes all out for Halloween, who takes flying ghosts and creepy gravestones to a whole new level. Well, I caught up with one Halloween lover to reveal the passion behind the pumpkins. <laughs> To say Will Tomlin loves spooky things is an understatement. I was walking through a store and I saw it and I said, have to have it, have, you just have to have it. Every Halloween season, he spends countless hours outdoors, turning his happy home into a devilish delight, preparing to welcome the littlest of goblins. I like to hear him crunching through the leaves. When I grew up, that's, that's what I remember about it. Tomlin has collected hundreds of elaborate decorations over the years, from wacky witches to zany zombies. And each one has a designated spot in his front yard, turning his cute corner lot into a creeped out creation. A lot of people see from the outside, and it looks, they're always like, oh, it looks really great, but you gotta really go through the whole, you gotta see everything. That's what I tell people. <laughs> and we get that a lot, too. I love it. <laughs> After days of pounding steaks, checking cords and stringing lights, night slowly falls. And Tomlin's gruesome graveyard comes alive in all its ghoulish glory. Walking through the foggy grounds, you'll encounter scary skeletons, floating witches, and chilling surprises in unsuspecting places. This business analyst is actually an empty nester with three grown kids. His over-the-top decorating started out as something fun for them, but has grown into something much more for this small neighborhood. I just want the kids to have a good time. The neighbors are getting involved, both sides of us, so I, I love that. The more you do, the more help you need, and it's like a community thing anyway, so you know it's great that everybody's getting involved with it. Families flock to this Halloween hotspot every year, so excited to see it. Marilyn Bradley lives across the street. I wasn't always a Halloween fan, but watching this develop, watching little kids come and love this as much as the candy, and it's like a community service. For Tomlin, the real reward is watching his diabolical display scare up so many smiles. The big pumpkin, it, it scares me a lot. When a kid this big says to you, I love your decorations, like it means something, that you don't th you think they might take it for granted, but they don't, they really like it. I, I'm so excited for Halloween. So on All Hallows Eve, you'll find this spectacular sight is really more treat than trick. And when you meet its creator, you'll definitely find more heart than haunt. Bigger and better every year. It's the biggest one ever, man. Thanks for your help, boys. Yeah. You Great it. job. Great job. Happy Halloween. All right, that was really nicely done. Thank and, you. And wow, <laughs> he is really into this. Yes. Uh, and, and the whole community sort of kind of gathered yeah. around, try to, try to get a glimpse of this. Yeah. It's great. That's what's amazing about that family. Will and his family, they're mm. all about community, and the neighbors love them. I know. You can see why. You can see it. All right, that's going to do it for this hour of Your Morning on Spectrum News 1, but stay with us. When we come back, we'll have the latest news coming out of Maine and all you need to know about early voting. Stay with us. You're watching your morning on Spectrum News 1. We'll be right back.